Well, thanks a lot, Lloyd. Uh, listen, it's, it's just an incredible feeling. There were some times today when I had to actually pinch myself to make myself believe that I wasn't going to wake up somewhere in the middle of a rainstorm in Oregon and have 24,000 miles still to do. But uh, here we are finished, and uh, oh, it's just fantastic. Now, you had to dig deep down inside yourself several times. What was it that kept you going? You're right, and there sure were a number of tough moments along the way. Uh, the only way I can explain it is the uh, three ingredients that kept me going were, number one, the belief in the dream. I strongly believed that we could have an impact and, and do some good as a result of the Man in Motion Tour for disabled persons. Number two was the commitment of my whole life to achieve and accomplish that dream. Everything else took second precedent. It was the full and number one priority. And number three was the wonderful team of people that worked with me to help me accomplish the goal. Uh, those three ingredients, no matter how difficult uh, the times were, no matter how many obstacles uh, that we had to overcome, it seemed to reinforce me just uh, my strength of conviction and how deep I could dig uh, in the times of adversity. Rick, do you come away from this with any common feeling about the places you visited, the people you met? All I can say is I've, I feel very fortunate. I've had an opportunity to experience the best of humanity. When I left Vancouver, uh, I had my questions and doubts about what it was like out there about what people were like in other worlds, uh, other countries, sorry. And as far as uh, my experience goes, we uh, were treated uh, so consistently good by no matter who, who, which country we went through, no matter who we met, people were wonderful. And regardless of their political belief, their uh, religious belief, their ethnic background, uh, their language, uh, it was uh, just a wonderful reinforcement in, in the good of mankind. I suppose everybody's asking you this one today, uh, what's next? What can be next? Well, all I can say is uh, what I have to do is, uh, at this point, is just focus and concentrate on winding the project down. Once we've wound the project down, I'm going to be taking uh, two weeks of solid rest and have a chance then to come in uh, and put the legacy in place so it will work in perpetuity towards the goals that uh, we stated the, the funds will be uh, spent on. And then, of course, it's time for me to start thinking about my professional career, uh, where I'd like to go uh, in the future. And uh, I'm really looking forward to finishing off uh, the book with Jim Taylor about the Man in Motion tour that will be coming out in September. And after that, it's just a matter of uh, focusing on my wedding with Amanda because that's going to be the most wonderful thing in my entire life. We'll be watching for that, Rick. Again, congratulations. Thanks very much. Thanks very much, Lloyd. I want to say thanks to all the people in Canada who uh, were so supportive and were very much a part of this project. Thank you very much.